Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. It is the mayhemiest raw wrap up of the week. It is the raw wrap up on Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. We fixed the internet. Okay, it wasn't the internet that was wrong or anything like that. Uh, but uh, you know, it was a night. It was a night. We got things set up. Maybe the comic book pick guys got a little crazy with the setup. No, it was completely probably wasn't their fault. But I'm here, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Beachview neighborhood uh, Sorgatron Media Studios. Ready to do some fun, fun stuff here. Uh, and I got the crew that we've been having a lot lately. Of course, first of all, in the studio, we do have uh, Mutilator Larry is with us. Hello. What's up? Hello. Watch the good bit of Raw here tonight together. Yes, yes. It was very rawish, raw. Raw, 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 <laughs> and back with us, of course, from Pooh, Kipsy, New York. He is the only uh, one on the Mayhem Show with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. He is Mad Mike. No one spoil Avengers for Larry. He hasn't no. seen it yet. No, 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 no. Exactly. Uh, Thanos demands your silence on the behalf of Larry. Thank you. Wow. And, and just to be sure I don't get spoiled, I don't have the chat open up right now. So There you go. Just so even if, even with if you there is there. someone trolling on there <laughs> posting don't things. Don't worry. If, if, even if anyone posts in the chat, I'm going to chastise them. Mm-hmm. Good. Better. The, re- the reality stone knows no bounds. That's right. That's right. Well, it was a Raw tonight. Uh, what did you guys think? Uh, we, we had a raucous crowd, a French-Canadian crowd, if you will, uh, up there for uh, coming straight off from, I think it's the first show for most people back from Saudi Arabia and the royalist of Rumbles. Uh, <laughs> it was the Raw after Rumble. It was the Raw after Rumble again. Yep. Um, I guess. Again. So, sure. Ag- again. Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what would you guys think? What, what stuck out for you guys tonight? I like the crowd. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And... <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah um... I, Sammy Zayn was good. Okay, I, I like the intro with Sammy and Kevin. That okay, was fun. I I uh, do appreciate Sammy and Kevin just straight up being the biggest faces on the show. Mm-hmm. Straight up just being the biggest faces, despite them being giant douchebags. The guys, the guys. Well, you know, they're speaking French, so I guess it kind of goes hand in hand, right? Yeah, yeah. Isn't yeah. Jinder also Canadian? He, yes, he is. He is. He's okay. Calgary Canadian, I think. Yes. So technically, <laughs> technically, they did. It was a old Canadian team. Yes. Right. If not outwardly, and I don't know if they referenced that he's initially from Canada or anything like they that. They don't but... mention the fact that he's Canadian at all. No. He, no. For all intents and purposes, he is from, um, oh, what's what's that? Uh, India. Delhi. India? Delhi. Delhi. New Delhi. Delhi? New, New Delhi. Delhi. Yeah. Or New Delhi or old India. Delhi. We'll say India. Okay, because I don't really know the, the entire there. the entire India, <coughs> of course. Uh, yeah. But no, it was fun. I, I enjoyed uh, Titus World Slide. That was incredible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, but this is the only time they can do this. Yes, I disagree. Oh no! I think no, he can. I think he can. Joke. No, I think he can run with this for at least four months. Oh, <laughs> that could okay. get a little well, bit tiring. T- they, Titus could. But... Yeah. Look Look how long they were running with Heath Slater's I Got Kids. They're still doing it. He's yeah, still... Yeah, but, but that wasn't an accident. That was a designed bit. Uh... No, I don't think the I Got Kids part was a designed bit. I really... Oh, I think it it was. sounds like the slide was a work. He turned that into a whole gimmick. It was... No, th- that slide was not a work. I think the slide was a work. It looked like a nope. work. If it, if it was a work, the camera would have caught the angle on the first time. Hmm... If it, if it was a work, Did, if it was a work, the camera would have caught that on the first time. The odds of him that. sliding perfectly in between those two legs, underneath, underneath, underneath no. it, like underneath the ring with the drape right in front of it, like he should have died. It's Titus too perfect. Is just the, damn lucky there was no LED board in Saudi Arabia. There were two steel beams, not like a foot from each of his shoulders. Holding the ring up. Either way, 
uh, I, I, this did lead to what I think is appropriate. Well, first of all, um, I, th th this reminds me we didn't have to give give a shout out that we forgot about with all the uh, stuff you have. Uh, let, uh, let's give a, uh, a shout out and uh, uh, our thoughts and prayers to um, our friend Matt Carlins. He uh, is in surgery today. Um, he did have his appendix removed. Um, it, we believe it's because he watched the tightest slide far too many times on repeat. Mm -hmm. Yep. And he left, yeah. left himself. He, left he, is in a, he is in a local medical facility. Yeah. Yes. So if set, please set, please send any cards or flowers to any local medical facility. Care of uh, in the greater Pittsburgh uh, area. I mean, you can send them here. We'll get them to them. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, our address is out there. So, uh, but anyways, uh, care of Sorgatron Media and the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Sorg, uh, so Sorg. get well soon, Matt. You know, there's going to be someone who is so just pent up with emotion for Matt Carlin's recovery, they're going to become the tugboat of this podcast. You mean the Shockmaster? No, I mean tugboat. Oh, you mean the tugboat? I mean oh, tugboat. Oh, no. There does need to be a tugboat. Yes, there does. There needs to be a it tugboat. And then uh -huh. There needs to be a cage match at SummerSlam. And then, yep. and then tugboat. And eventually, eventually that Mayhemmer will turn on Matt Carlin's at Mayhem Mania. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. I'm booking it now. I'm booking I'm the booking far in advance mm -hmm. getting it out there well we'll see we'll see what happens with that um what, what else kind of popped up from you uh tonight i i i had a it was weird to me that braun and roman are teaming up to be quite oh, honest god that that bothers me so much like at least just have him come out pat roman on the shoulder and say for now i'm finished with you like that's all. Well, they already killed it off when they posted that video, that Instagram thing in Saudi Arabia where they were sitting right next to each oh, other. Oh, nothing, nothing on Instagram counts. That's not real. No. That's not that real. That was totally real. I saw uh, it with my right, eyes. You, all right. He was I'm having a you, pleasant conversation unless, with Triple H, and Braun Strowman was sitting right next to him with a face full of pie or something. No, unless, nobody, unless Lana and, is gonna have pink hair on SmackDown, nothing on Instagram counts. And nobody was talking the Great Khali. Well, no, I think Rey Mysterio was sitting right next to him. You just couldn't see because he was in the way. Oh. <laughs> uh, boy. Uh, uh, so, he's so short, like, he's I, short guys. He's if short. nothing else, a short joke. Mike, Mike, you have to be one. happy that, that uh, Ronda Rousey is actually at the show every week for one thing. Nope. No? Nope. Not at all? Have, have a match. Have a match. She had a match. match. We got to build up to it. You it's a spectacle. It. Saw it. It's all right. No. no, no, because that is a special contract. Mm. That is a special contract. Well, no, that's not true. She's technically not good enough to have a match right now. Look how long the fashion police went without <laughs> having a match. Maybe we should have waited on this. Look how long the fashion police went without having a match. They were just doing vignettes for like four months before they finally yeah, got a squash Yeah, but the fashion match. police wrestle regularly on house shows. You don't know that. I do know that. No, you don't. You don't go to every house show. They could just be sitting back at home. Are there still house show reports anymore? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah? Like, people are doing that? Yeah. Absolutely. The Melts is all over that. You know him. Oh, don't get me go, don't FDM. Get on the Melts. FDM. Jeez. Have you, uh, see, have you seen uh, Bruce Pritchard's new T-shirts? The FDM shirts? Oh, I'm trying he, to he, actively he, avoid everything involving Bruce Pritchard. He has, yeah. he has a Fuck Dave Meltzer shirt. Can of course a, he does because get, it's hilarious. Can I get a Conradless version of I? Oh, well, I got I got low down on Conrad this weekend, and I hate him even more now. Uh, but I'll talk about that. This is about Raw, and Conrad's not on Raw, which is a saving well, grace. You can, you can tell that not a lot happened on Raw. I mean, That's, Finn Balor and 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 Seth Rollins had a crackerjack of a match. It was a good match. It was a good. It match. was a very good match. We had another. The, uh, we had another moment of bliss. That, oh, jeez. That is my favorite weekly running segment right oh, now. Oh, no, but we need to stop with this. Why do we need to stop no. with we, this? We, 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 we're running it up through <sighs> Backlash. Backlash is this weekend. It, it's sending the wrong message. Wait, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes. She's a heel. <laughs> yes. I know she's a heel, but 
It's Ugh, so it's, okay. It's bothersome. Are it's, you yeah. comparing this? It's supposed are you, to be bothersome. Are you comparing? No, but not a lot of people understand that she's the bad guy. Like little, <laughs> like little girls do so not comprehend that she's the bad person. You're not. Your problem is not. Listen, that. we've already established Mike is the one that's more in touch with little kids than the rest of us. Okay, uh, Wait, before the show. I what? mean, no. I mean, it, I mean. That, I reek of toy. <laughs> you reek of toy. He's the one that yes. reeks of toys. He understands kids. You know. I have a giant Hulkbuster set right next to me. I uh, literally smell. <laughs> he of literally toy. pulled that from. You know what? Fine. I'm just gonna pull out my Donatello right here. Like I'm a guy that has toys too. I'm an adult. Yeah. I have no toys. <laughs> I believe <laughs> no, no. Uh, well, I believe there is a coloring book within your reach, and I think Donatello just Where? said something. Uh, look over your shoulder. Look over your shoulder. Those aren't mine, though. Those are yours. You planted that. You... Wow. Is that an animal yeah. coloring book? Bring it. <laughs> that That's right. Thanks, Rob. Thank you, Rob Paulson, friend of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. If they paid Rob Paulson for that one. Uh... Oh, oh no, no. He does all of his own action figure sounds. Oh, really? Like, like as a yeah. as a role? Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> What's up? Yeah. That I got distracted by. Somebody. Oh, I'm sorry. I put Ninja Warrior no, like, still up. I forgot the, to put the, the feet up. Bliss stuff like it's it's not sending the right message. Wait, like it's not supposed but, to. Be. But the message is going to be crystal clear in seven days, six days. When she gets her ass completely destroyed. <laughs> Five and a half days. Five and a half. Yes. No, Sunday, yeah, right? Yes, so we all watched the Alexa Bliss uh, uh, tape, and now... Um... I, I think she's winning the belt back. Yeah, probably. Could be. <laughs> but that's not the right message! <laughs> None of this is the right message. Have you, like... Paid attention to anything they've listen, done over the listen, last thirty years. Mike is years. really worried about bullying. Okay, he's really worried about bullying Look right now. Look at the back, like the backstage environment that they're in. Yeah, I know. This is like the biggest like hazing pit in the world. I know, but now they're bringing it on Front Street, and I, I don't, I don't like that. No, they're in Montreal. This they're is not. like, this is like if JBL did the Be a Star campaign. Like, no, okay, that, that wouldn't. <laughs> That, that might be a little too either. far. Yeah, some mixed signals. That's that might signals. be a little too yeah. far. <laughs> like, could you imagine Hardcore Holly just going up to a bunch of little kids like, I used to be bullied too. I'm like, no, you weren't. Yeah. <laughs> didn't, didn't Ryback do that for a bit? Was, wasn't Ryback yeah. doing Be a Star for a yeah. bit? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Other than that, uh, you know, the six man was fun. Again, a little bit of the hometown stuff, of course. Uh, but I didn't pay attention to it. Oh, enough to, to, to know everybody was going bonkers at the end of that thing. Um, I love this phase of Elias. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah. He brought back herbal tea from Saudi Arabia to help his voice. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, as he should. As he should. And they, he's they have wearing wonderful tea over there. More, you know, over the top, like this silk, like kind of situation. He's wearing scarves, a kimono. He, a kimono. Like, like. He, I, I think he's studying phases of eccentric um, um, artists and just proceeding, which is fantastic. My only problem with Elias is that he keeps doing this walk with Elias thing. Right. Like, why do you have to acknowledge that people know what WWE stands for? Like, quit forcing them to say it. Man, it's just like a concert where Ozzy says the same thing every show. Yeah, and he needs to stop it also. It, well, yeah, I think he it, has. It's, it's like, I said, are you ready to rock? Yes. But that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. except it doesn't it's sound as good. It's more wordy and it's obnoxious. And But, but the he's, crowd but he's a says it. He's yeah. not he's a, a heel. No, he's a heel like Rusev's a heel. Well, okay. He's a, the only uh, reason yeah. that they're. I don't think Rusev's a heel anymore. Though, the only unless... reason, if he wasn't a heel, he would have beat the Undertaker. Ah. Uh, he got a better uh, showing than John Cena did. Yeah, he did. How about that? How about that? And he got double stuffed with uh, Aiden English he in that casket. He, <laughs> him and Elias get Are we more doing pops. Anymore? Him and Elias get more pops than. All the baby Ro faces on Raw and, and Roman Spectre. Reigns oh, yeah. has since that's not a that no, that's not a fair comparison. Roman Reigns isn't a fair comparison. No, prob probably not. But he not. get they get better they get better fan reactions than like say if Finn Balor comes out or if AJ Styles comes out. Mm -hmm. They're like that's the true. they're like the new day. 
I have a question for you guys. Is Montreal the Chicago of the North? I think so. Oh, I, yeah. Why not? Um, I, uh, I don't know. I, no, because it's not like they're chanting like for a, a wrestler from Montreal. Yeah, yeah they no, were. No, I'm, they, just talking, they, I'm just they talking. I'm just talking energy. N- no, because because New York has the same energy, Philly has the same energy. Yeah, it's yeah. Bi- it's big cities. I yeah. I I think it's a wrestling town. I don't know. It's a wrestling town. Yeah. That 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 and crowd on, reaction honestly, was. Honestly, if Bret Hart had done the right thing, that wouldn't be a hotbed wrestling town. Why? It wouldn't. If if 1997 had gone oh, down okay. differently, yeah. If 1997 had gone down differently. That wouldn't be a hot pit wrestling. Tour. Really? So you think that? Oh, I, I didn't even think about that because it didn't get acknowledged for a change tonight. Exactly. Like, yeah. it, but I do enjoy that the only Canadian to win tonight was Natty. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> that that is pretty funny. Yeah. 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 Um, and 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 Ronda Rousey, um, uh, so, uh, uh, um, representing a Canadian of sorts. Yeah, she doesn't give a damn about reputation. Ugh. I like Mike's just that has a problem with music like three Living under in. contract without a match now. Uh, <laughs> He's not wrong. Larry, how much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? I don't know, like 45 minutes. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. It wasn't very good, man. It was all right. That crowd, like, I, 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 have to, I have to give it to the crowd for having as much energy as they did for such a mediocre Raw. Yeah, yeah, they're just happy to be there, it w- man. <laughs> it was you know what? Sometimes- Especially considering that, like, we're pushing a pay per view on Sunday, but two of the antagonists in the Raw two main events were not at the show because guess what? They're not. They're on, on SmackDown the yeah. and they're losing. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. How much was watchable for you, Mike? All the promos plus the last match. I don't want to add up how much that is, but anytime you see talking, watch it. Anytime you see Finn Balor wrestling Seth Rollins, watch it. So he was about half an hour. Sounds right. No. No, yeah. those promos lasted longer than that. Okay, fine. 45 minutes. He's about 45 minutes. Too. Okay. All right. That's fair. <laughs> I enjoyed what I saw the uh, six-man tag. Um, I, just, I, you know, I just love a good crowd that's happy to be, be watching wrestling. I'm okay with that. Yeah, but do you really tune in for the crowd? But the crowd makes a match, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> I feel like the so match makes the crowd. <laughs> I was going to say, I've been in arenas where sometimes a match can make a crowd. True, true. True, true. Uh, Sheamus versus Randy Orton, anyone? <laughs> uh, Randy Orton versus John Cena in Pittsburgh? Randy Orton versus anybody. Uh... Rey Mysterio in the Rumble at Pittsburgh? Oh, mm. but that wasn't Ray's fault. That was why you was so angry at Meadville. Kate, Kate made him an <laughs> apology note from the city of Pittsburgh. But did. She did. She did. We she, he, was, he was in too know, much of a pissy mood to give it to her. Yeah. He, or, <laughs> for her to give it to him. Oh, there's so much. There's so much if things would have played out differently. Hi, um, Tina. Don't spoil Avengers for Larry. Yeah, I'm, yeah, not, yeah, I'm, not, yeah, yeah. I'm not reading the chat. She can do nope. it. It's fine. She said Ola. <laughs> it's all right. She just said Ola. Hi, Tina. Um, I'm going to go... Uh, you know, I'm so distracted during Raw anymore. It was seriously. Like, I, I it don't, is three hours. It is three hours. <laughs> but, I mean, I just... You know, I, I was posting a show. I had other business emails. You know, man, Sorg. I, should, I should stop watching it at work. Sorg, more, <laughs> greater than or less than the runtime of Avengers Infinity War? Oh, definitely less than. Okay, good. Really? It was less than three hours? Is two thirty? Yeah. No, I'm just. I'm, that's that's a gauge. Yeah, it's a gauge. that's a good gauge. Definitely it's a did gauge. not. Definitely did not uh, uh, pass the time as well as Infinity Wars. Oh my God, Tina, you haven't seen it yet either. What is wrong with you people? Also, far less consequence. <laughs> well, for me, I I just I don't know. I, I I didn't. Wouldn't it be great if Raw just pulled an Infinity War ending at at some point? Uh, oh my God, yes. <laughs> Oh my God! Can we can we take a tally of? Who, uh, never mind, never mind. Zip, zip. Thanos. Listen, Thanos, the manager's silence. Listen, we're gonna do that, that's gonna that's, that's gonna have to be our Patreon. Remi- uh, somebody remind Tina. me to do this tomorrow, where everybody that's watched Infinity War, we book an episode of Raw as if it were Infinity War. Oh my God! Yes, I. 
Sorg, we that that should be our new mayhem project. <laughs> Partial spoiler: just a, just an image of Vince McMahon sitting uh, on a log, into staring, smiling at the stunt set at the end. I I just <laughs> want I want Vince McMahon holding the Infinity Stones, like. <laughs> Oh, oh, and sort. We have to name each stone. There's the booking stone. Okay, we well, don't know this for Patreon. There's this is for Patreon. This is for Patreon, yes. guys. Okay. Thank you okay. so much. It's been the um, wrap up. Thanks to thanks to Larry for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thanks to the Mad Mike up and Pooh Kipsy. Thank you, and feel free to to converse with me about Infinity War because I saw it twice. And I'm going to go see it again this week. That's right. You're not going to be here tomorrow. Maybe uh, we'll do this after uh, we go off. I'll be watching it on Wednesday. So, yes. There you go. There you go. Good. Good. And then you can join the the Infinity War coping um, uh, uh, channel was, on Slack. I swear, before you made that, I was trying to figure out how to make my own channel on Slack, and it wasn't working. <laughs> so that's where we've been. Uh, yeah, I try to create a safe place on our on our Sorgatron Media Slacks, so everybody, so nobody's doing it random in general or anything like that, and spoiling each other. So we just do it in a, a place there. And I'll, as as we, I mean, we're all podcasters, so it's like. Of course, this is the big geek thing, and and I we need sure. a spoiler safe space. Yes, exactly. Oh boy, uh, Mike, are you going to RAW next week? Uh, no, I want to be entertained when I go to wrestling. Oh! <laughs> that's why he's going to Canada for Impact. Tables. By the way, just because it's the first time I've been on the <laughs> no. air, big shout out. <laughs> God no. Speaking God, of Canada, no. speaking of Canada, I want to give a shout out before we leave to RC Dupree. Who had a fantastic uh, ladder match with Wardlow in Clearfield for the uh, International Wrestling Cartel? Uh, we just posted that show tonight on IndieWrestling.us on digital download. Um, it, it really it, match of the year candidate happened um, again. Dupree is a guy that has not had a lot of um, ring time, uh, definitely not singles in the IWC, and it was good to see him s- stepping up. and And Wardlow's uh, a lot of fun as well. And uh, also shout out to our friends over at Welterweight Wrestling. Um, I, I was a uh, part on uh, behind the camera helping out uh, a little bit for the I pay per view last night over on Fight TV. Uh, please, um, I, apparently there were reports that I was smiling a lot at ringside as I was behind camera. So, um, <laughs> so I guess it was a good show. I had a lot of fun. Uh, great roster there. Uh, meeting, a lot, meeting a lot of those guys for the very first time. And uh, Dutters was there uh, with Missy. With producer Missy was producing some interviews. Uh, with a lot of at least ten interviews, I think, uh, from the looks of things, including uh, Aphidian and Frightmare from Chikara, um, Rory Gulak, in which I think the question was asked, "Who is the better Gulak?" Um, he was actually wearing a um, Drew Gulak uh, shirt, Mike. Uh, Excellent to the show. Uh, I, I approve did, of that. Did, I approve did, of that. Did you, uh, Missy? Did you guys ask him? Uh, about his uh, position when it comes to PowerPoints. There was something about Good. PowerPoints. Okay, Good. well, I've, I have not yeah. reviewed this footage yet. Also, Dylan Bostic rejoining us for that, and uh, and a few other people uh, as well. So a lot of fun there. Good to see that. A fantastic show. Um, it, 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 and it's been a while since I worked with that crew. I have not done an eye pay per view since Resolution Five when Rhino and Jason Bain exploded the ring right before intermission. <laughs> so you can see that guy on Botchamania. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Uh, and until next week, keep... It's going to be May. Keep it raw and happy Rusev Day. Happy Rusev happy May. Happy Rusev Day. May. Happy Rusev May. <laughs>